Welcome back, everyone, to this second day of action for the MTL Overwatch playoffs. We are here for one of the most exciting matches of the whole bracket, at least to both of us, because Concordia Esports is facing Beaver Riders, and that is one match no one can predict. No, it was a featured matchup tonight, and we're very much looking forward to it. I, I, I am, I at least. Am. Well, I mean, I, I don't know why you're no looking favoritism. for a Concordia match. No <laughs> favoritism. No favoritism. No, no, no. We are absolutely never biased on this stream. Never. Zero bias. At, no, zero tolerance for any kind of bias here. This is true journalism. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So, in order to prepare for this match, I think you had something to show me. Yeah. So, I went with, I think, the team that's going to win tonight will be maybe the Beaver Riders. So I brought my little friend, but I'm just kidding. They won't win. Concordia Esports will win. We will always win. We always win. Look. Sometimes. <laughs> There's a phone booth right there if you want some help. Don't kick with me out that yet. Shirt. I just got here. No, no, no. A phone booth. Like I, I, I oh, was, like I was Superman? making a Superman reference. Yeah, yeah. But, okay. you know, you can, you can hold that because the Beaver Riders, to me, have been the most consistent team this season. No bias here, but... Concordia is definitely one of the, if not the most consistent consistent from season to season in the league right now with a record of three and four. Versus a four and three record. Versus a four and three, exactly. I mean, both of those records are nothing to be ashamed of. No. Uh, I, I sincerely think that it could go either way. I know you have a couple of notes. You want to talk about this a little bit because this is definitely <laughs> your team. And yeah. you know a lot about the Beaver Riders too. So Con Beaver Riders actually won the first matchup between Concordia early on in the season. But since then, they have lost their main tank, Lord Sticky, who has now gone to Windstorm. Yep. And Concordia has stuck with the same roster, but they've adapted. They've picked different champions. They've switched up who plays which role. And they're also flexible, right? Mm -hmm. So going into this patch, I think that's important. Absolutely. As we talked about in the first map, the, the, the first match of this game, sorry, flexibility is always a factor when you just enter a patch, when you have to understand the meta very quickly and adapt on the fly. I think this is a very important factor for Concordia because I know they are a very flexible team. Pretty much every single player can play any role. On the side of Beaver Riders, though, some players are a little more rooted in Little. their roles, and yeah. I think that's not necessarily a bad thing, but today, it could definitely have an impact on the game. I want to see if they transition into that Ana play, maybe move away from the Mercy, maybe switch away from the Winston into a Rhine. Maybe they've exclusively played Winston last game, so maybe they'll take that up this time, since mm -hmm. Concordia has a tough time dealing with a good Rhine player. So. Yep. And I do know that Daisy Fan is a very good D.Va player, practically only plays that online. Now, if he has a pocket pick to offer to us today, that could be surprising, and that could definitely spell doom for, for Concordia Absolutely. if they can't prepare for it. Because I know they've scrimmed in the past, and Concordia has had the upper hand on a couple of those. Sometimes, yeah. They've been pretty good. But I do feel like Beaver Riders are not to count out here. Bree is probably one of the best supports of the league. Definitely proficient on multiple heroes. And alternatively, we have Stealth, who's probably one of the best Annas in the league. At like a solo Anna player, pretty much. Right. But he plays as Sombra. I like so that. I like that. You plays all the play? characters with S. <laughs> I definitely believe that this map will go the distance. It three will. maps for me. That's so. my prediction for today. Now, are you, I think are you, you have with a me or are you with uh, the Beaver Riders? Look, I don't know <laughs> if I want to dip my toe into that pond, but I will say that I have liked a lot of the plays from the Beaver Riders this season, but. They have been playing well. I've been, I, I've seen their last game without Lord Sticky, without that center piece. Yes. The puzzle doesn't seem to be quite complete. And today will be all about finding the right synergy for this new composition because losing a tank player hurts. It's, it hurts so it's, much oh. when that just center point of your team, that your team gravitates around, that dictates your plays, is removed. It's an adjustment you need to make. Yeah, and the positioning is never quite the same. You need a lot of practice to understand where your tank will be at all times. Now, they lost Lord Sticky to Windstorm. He's been performing there. It worked out for them. Let's see if Beaver Riders can work without 
that man on Ryan and Winston. We have seen a lot of Ginyoru play. Daisy Fan has been really good also. Maybe a bit more offensive than defensive Daisy Fan on that diva. Yeah. Very aggressive, right? A bit aggressive, a bit over-aggressive at times. I'm really interested to see how Miso does today as a player transitioning into a tank role, being a new player on Concordia. So looking at him versus Ginyoru, versus looking at JMKZ versus Volgo too, see if Volgo can... That duo will be fantastic. Honestly, every single game where Wogo is in it, we always see the Widow pop in and out of play whenever yep. necessary. And I really feel like, well, to me, Wogo has been one of the best Widowmakers, if not the most consistent Widowmaker this season. Probably not the best aim of the bunch, but definitely understands exactly where to be at all times. And with every hero positioning is to me the primary factor in making you in making a player successful on that hero. Now we will head into the game pretty soon. I do want to talk about the maps. How do you think Concordia will perform on the three maps that we have to offer tonight? Traditionally, Concordia has favored payload maps. If we look at the results previously, they have favored payload maps heavily. But Li Zhang has always been one of those maps where it's a coin toss. Either you get it or you don't. So I think Li Zhang will really be the turning point in the series. Either it can end the series or we'll have a game three. Well, we will see as we are heading into this game pretty quickly. It will be a couple more minutes. Now, I do know that I've seen a lot of Concordia play last season. You were a part of that competition. For a little bit, yes. For at least a part of the season. I want to know your opinion on what the composition for Concordia will look like coming into this first map. I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty standard, so 2-2-2, two, 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 probably. I'm expecting 2-2-2 two, two, two from both teams, honestly. But with the Mercy changes, it could throw shake things up. Will we see Pink Panda on Lucio? Will we see Stealth on maybe Zenyatta? Or will they do that Sombra stuff? That I'm not a big fan of, but it works. So. That Sombra stuff is so <laughs> exciting, though. I really want to see that. We haven't seen a lot of Sombra play this season, and if Concordia can pull it off, be sneaky, and just make it work, make it connect with every other piece of the puzzle, I feel like this could be the out-of-bounds play that Concordia uses to maybe run away with a win, especially on a payload map like we have two of today. On Lee Jung Tower, it is going not to be a bit different. So Sombra, probably not the best pick on Though those Though she can maps. EMP the entire site, it's still difficult to pull off. Exactly. So. Not a lot of room to work with, or at least not as much room to work with as a payload map. I am looking forward to Beaumalet here because he's been using uh, the DPS heroes to a certain extent uh, during the season, and he has been very proficient with a lot of different heroes too. Very versatile in his play. I really feel like... Him, Wogo, and Briox will make the core composition of the offensive uh, part of this team because Bri is always, even though she plays support, she is always a very uh, important pillar of this offensive push every single time. Uses a lot of different support heroes, very proficient on all of them. Good Absolutely. accuracy on all of them too. So I, I am looking forward to Wogo using the positioning, doing a lot of crazy stuff. But, I mean, look at that Concordia team. This is impossible to predict. I hope they win tonight. I really want us to get to the semis. We got a little bit blocked by UDM last season, so us getting into the semis would be pretty important. Also looks good when you finish ahead of UDM. Yeah. Now, the I winner, like beating them. The winner of this game will go on to face Windstorm Gaming. I know you favor Concordia for this one. If they do make, out, uh, make it out of this game, what do you think of their chances against their next opponent, Allegedly. It is going to be a tough one, definitely, if they get out of it. But I have faith. You have faith? I, I have faith. You have a faith small in amount your of team? Faith. <laughs> but I'd like to see them maybe crank it up a notch, maybe take it to them. We have, seen, take a map. We have seen both of those uh, teams play against Windstorm this season. None of them have won against their opposition because, of course, Windstorm won every single game this season <laughs> except the one Versus they had against Rivals. I mean, rivals. Generally, the, the trend of all seasons so uh, far. Exactly. Luigi versus rivals, win versus everyone else. Was uh, the Concordia tread last season? 
Yes, ex exactly. That was pretty much how it worked last season for Concordia. And I do understand that last season we had We Rise, of course. That was yes. uh, pretty much the, the given of the night for, for any single week. But this is so nebulous still. Rivals is such a good team, but the Windstorm talent, the Concordia versatility, the Beaver Riders surprise factor here, it could go any way. And sincerely, I, I, I feel like I've, I've never seen this matchup happen in any form, and that excites me. That, that really makes me look forward for this game even more. Same here. And it sounds like we're getting into game. Absolutely, we are headed into this first map of the second game of the night. On the side of Beaver Riders, we have Daisy Fan, Bomale, Wogo, Ginioru, Briox, and Storm Kusei. And on the side of Concordia Esports, we have Pink Panda, Stealth, Run, JMKZ, Mizo, and Conman. This will be a match to remember. Please don't let me down. <laughs> I love this. I, I love the, the caster bias here. <laughs> Please don't let me down, Concordia. Beaver Riders will do all they can to make sure you are disappointed tonight. I am sure, and Concordia, man, maybe, they're, maybe they'll make you proud tonight. Maybe they will. I told them before the game, please don't make me look silly. And uh, I hope I won't look silly. Well, well, well. As you said before, we have something pretty standard on the side of Concordia. Of course, that Hanzo probably being used as a recon arrow. Most likely, like last game. Mm -hmm. Stealth going for... Oh, no, not even going for that Hanzo recon at the beginning of the round. They prefer to head into the fray prepared. Pink Panda is going for the Mercy and Stealth going Gin for Zenyatta. Ginyoru hovering the Reinhardt right now. Looks like he's picked that, so... Big adjustment from his Winston only last series. They might have heard you say about the talk about the problems that Concordia had with the Reinhardt composition so far, but still, they are headed into this game. The payload is moving, and JMKZ is trying to flank with the Pharah, hovering the battlefield. He's trying Ooh. to get Briox, and oh, that rocket will find its target. That is the first pick of the game. Briox falls to JMKZ, trying to find more targets now over the shield. It's an important Ooh. one. Oh, really low is Tarm Kisei. Oh, can you get him? Looks like I'm going to be healed up. Kisei's still going. Still Wogo hunting in him. danger. Beautiful play. Goes. Wogo goes down. That Junkrat is oh, eliminated. Bobale immediately caught by Jam Kisei. He's doing everything right Johnny, now. Johnny, my boy. Doing good tonight. Ah, Johnny boy, Johnny boy. Jam Kisei still looking for Briox <laughs> and falls another time. Briox. It's being harassed by JamKZ right now. That payload is moving so quickly on the side of Concordia Esports. That is two ultimates on their side. Whoops. Run basically wasting a Dragon Blade right now. Conman is the next one in line for that ultimate. Nope, I'm lying. Mizo is. But still, JamKZ is coming back, Conman. So what we saw there was the Ana pick being so crucial. Like, JamKZ picked her off at the start of the fight. And then again, when she came back, no chance to heal. Lucio healing, not good enough for the entire team when you have that Ana biotic nade into healing. We're probably going to see more of the same jam because he's just focusing the back line. Absolutely, and I don't disagree with that. There we go. The writers now trying to maybe sta stabilize this fight. Grab is almost ready. It's ready now. Just needs to find a good target for it. Fully charged, oh. a grab will happen. That shield beautifully used by Storm QC. That fight is not over. Not a single victim in that oh one yet. And just word. as I say this, the trades are coming in. Pink Panda resurrects run immediately after he dies. Inyoru found that one, and that kill feed is pretty much all red. Concordia Esports still advances to that second checkpoint. The only one that could do anything about it is Wogo. Won't get there in time. We saw Run get shattered, killed, and then immediately res into a nano blade. Just, I assume Beaver Riders weren't expecting that, and they're just going to stagger right now. Bit of unlucky play there from Beaver Riders. Maybe a lack of concentration affecting their game, because right now they are being stomped by the offense of Concordia Esports. So we saw Rivals beat Sailor Scouts in 4 minutes 20. Concordia 
trying to mimic that. Oh, here we go with run. Can they do better? Run is going to fall to Boma. Nano being used. Being nano boosted right now. Daisy Fan has his ultimate, and he is not known for holding on to that very long. Let's see if he can find the right angle here. He's on the high ground, looking for targets, scouting the battlefield, still looking, and he's going to activate it immediately after that dash. Going to find two targets with it. Stealth and Pink Panda are gone. The two supports will not be in the fight for Concordia. Oh, charging in right now. Ginyoru may be a bit cheeky here, trying as much as he can to find Maizo. You really don't want to die? No, it's Ryan. We'll stagger the entire fight afterwards if you do get picked there, which he did. But. Alt's coming back up for Concordia. No alt on the side of Beaver Riders, aside from the sound barrier. Just as, just as you were talking about the Storm Cusay got his ultimate. The Flamestorm is going to find a couple of targets. Not a lot of damage dealt, though. The shield still present. Ooh, very low for Maizo right now. Bomale is not on the right position for that ultimate to work out for him. Completely negated by the Zenyatta ult. Oh, JNKZ gets Ginyoru. That's a big pick. Gets a second one on the mech. Daisy Fan will find stealth, even though he has no mech to work with. And that Discord Orb probably spells doom for him. Concordia Esports still finds a way to win that fight. Only one fight went the way of Beaver Riders, and that last one may be the death of them. That grab surge. Oh, a big we grab to zone them off. Stealth going for that charge. And they are going the distance. 3 to 0 for Concordia Esports. 3 minutes and 35 seconds left on that timer. Beaver Riders will have to do quite a bit if they want to win that one. Gotta go fast. Concordia Esports, man. It did. What a great way to start a game. The momentum completely on their side so far. Beaver Riders only won one of those fights, and they have to cauterize the wound if they don't want to get completely stomped by Concordia. Absolutely. JNKZ actually did a fantastic job the first game, picking off the support and then the DPS in Wogo, which was really what we wanted to look at at the start of the game. And it uh, seems like Beaver Riders are going to adjust to that. Looks like they're going back to their Winston, which is probably their comfort pick. Miso sticking to that Reinhardt for now. We could also get trolled in this Arisa Torbjorn. I do like Bree going on that Mercy. Wasn't capable of having any kind of impact on that early game for Beaver Riders. Probably going to change. And the comfort pick coming in, that might work out for them. It might not. But I have confidence that any of those players can change according to the pace of the game. Concordia now. Pink Panda going for Anna. Pretty obvious pick on that composition, especially with Maizo still on Reinhardt. Attackers incoming. So it's going to be very important for Concordia to hold his first point as long as they can. We saw Beaver Riders get rinsed immediately and have to fall back. And that pretty much opened up the game for Concordia to take that time advantage they had. So now Concordia's big job is to hold this point, hopefully for two minutes minimum, and then try and end it either on the second point or even end it here. That faded second point, so difficult to catch if you don't have the momentum on your side. Beaver Riders, though, they are on the, pay the payload, and it is moving all on the high ground for Concordia Esports. Trying to find some kind of pick. Ginioru, maybe a bit too up front. We'll dive in. This is the start of the engagement. Not going too low. He is going to fall on the wrong side of the fence right Concordia there. Gonna have to fall back now to the arch. Oh, Jankies getting picked is not good for their damage. Bomale trying to replicate the exploits of JNKZ in that first round. Oh, Logo stealth. falling to stealth. That aim so far on the side of stealth has been stellar all game long. And if he continues that way, he might win the whole game for his team. It has been that fantastic. Bomale and Storm Cusay have to fall back. They moved it a significant amount, though, right? So they have that going for them. Concordia's alts are coming up shortly. Not many on the side of uh, Beaver Riders, actually, which is surprising. Nano Boost up immediately. And uh, what are we going to see here? Is he flank from the side. Oh man, is still trying to find a target here. Riptire. 
That's con man. And it's all here, and he's trying to find the right target, but the tire gets ripped apart by Daisy oh. Fan. Ooh, that nice oh, ultimate. Oh, the by double. Moro. Picks up Jam Kizzy and Pink Panda. That's a lot of support for Concordia. Completely gone. A lot of offense, too. Stealth will have his ultimate right one now. Three ultimates on the side of Concordia. They could do something, especially with that grab combo. If Jam Kizzy can get his ultimate pretty soon, That's that the might grab. be. Whoops! That Graviton! Oh, actually, pretty good. A lot of use there. It's Very a really good value. Zarya. Ooh, that healing boost. And saving runs live, but she's gone. Can you do without her for Self long? Daisy Fan finding a target now with his ultimate. Again, not known for keeping that very long. Goes for Kaman right afterwards. That fight is still happening, and Maizo is in danger. Maizo just trying to stay alive as long as he can. Take down a few seconds, but looks like they're going to get this first point. Considering the timer the is being extended, doesn't really matter if uh, he is being waited on for a little longer. Two ultimates on the side of Concordia Two could yep. be very useful. The air shatter and the rip tire combo it could be devastating if it lands together. Ginyor is switching fight. back to the Ryan. Ginyor oh. and Daisy Fan both finding good picks here. Run and Common are out of this fight. That's a lot of trash damage completely gone on the side of Concordia. Oh, and they still move. find the kills. Not oh. stealth off the higher platform. The entire team had to drop down with them after that. So. Makes a lot of sense. Now we'll go flanking, trying to find Where's a it gonna go? here. We'll go. Not going to be too happy with that flank. Jam KZ finds him right away, and he is gone. Oh, the Yor hammer. Gets God, that sleep dart. Beautiful for Pink Panda. And he is gone, too. Storm QC also out of the fight. Charging in a bit hasty there. Maizo slows down just a tiny bit, and Conman will try to fight <laughs> that one, but I don't think that's going to be in his favor. Bomale. Bit ambitious. Yeah. Especially with a projectile. Too much of a surprise there. Ooh, going low, he being healed back up. Those rockets, that very efficient tech. so far yeah, inside of Bumana. Is he going to get anything out of it? Mm, don't think so. Somewhat oh. wasted the Earth Shatter coming in, and boom goes the Dynamite for Bomale's ultimate. Gets two picks with that. Wogo will also find Pink Panda. Now, what we're seeing so far is Beaver Riders having a very different pace than Concordia Esport had in that first round. But definitely getting there slowly but surely. They are going to get that second checkpoint. Three minutes and 30 seconds left, or about that. That's less time than uh, Concordia has on the clock, but it's Stealth. definitely something good for them. Still just picked up Farah, but gets rezzed again, but Wogo goes down. Here we go with Bomale. Is he going to drop now? If he drops now, it could be really detrimental to their offense. Especially if you don't have that resurrection on the side of Bree. Speaking of which, very low. That Mercy oh, being harassed run. still survives. Amazing play so far from Khan. Man finally goes down after so much has been done to disrupt the Beaver Riders offense. Transcendence being popped. Keep my soul alive. Did he get anyone with that shatter? He, he did. did. Looks like Jinkies is ready to pull the trigger on that tag visor at any given moment. Concordia being grouped up. That could be a very prime target for Ginyor's ultimate coming up in three points right now. It's really important now is for Wogo not to get a big pulse bomb on the Concordia's backline. If that happens, it could be the end of the game. Man, that's a lot of ultimates for Beaver Riders. <laughs> oh that's my five of them, and only one to retaliate for Concordia, and that's an offensive one. Not a lot of defensive options. You have the Nano Boost coming up, 5% left on Pick Panda. That was the Pulse Bomb being used. Wogo getting picked by GMKZ is not what they wanted. And GMKZ is going to get booped off that, but... Nano Boost combo <laughs> with that Visor. Not going to get much. Maybe a bit too soon. But they did get the D.Va mech. And the D.Va afterwards.
as it should play. be. Daisy fan shut down by that play. Minute 34 remaining. Beaver Rider is still with four alts on the clock, so. This is a very good position for Concordia to be in right now, even if Beaver Riders find a way to get to that third point. It doesn't matter as much when you have so much time on the clock, Concordia, with three oh. minutes and 35 seconds. The that transcendence. Oof. Transcendence absolutely saving their face right there. And that then the big shatter on the other end. Here's the grab. Only thing going on the side of Beaver Riders. Oh, I was saying we'll go only find one, but that team fight is going their way. Beaver Riders inch forward ever so slightly. 50 seconds left, but they can do it if Concordia does not find a way to defend. They're going to have to move up and contest it right now. Conman on the Doomfist is going to try and stall this out a little bit. This team is there to back him up. Miso is swinging his hammer all over the card. Can he get something? Charging for that Ginioru. He will fall, though. They are attempting to contest that point, but no way. They can't do it. Concordia they did Esports. hit overtime right before that, so they are only going to get a minute. They are only going to get a minute, but still, I do like the way Concordia has been playing so far. Beaver Riders gets that, ter that, third, po that third point. Sorry. But <laughs> it will be difficult to continue because four minutes and seven seconds left on Concordia. They will go far if they can repeat the impressive first round they had. That could be very hurtful for Beaver Riders. So Beaver Riders are going to start, start off on attack right now with their one minute. Concordia held the first point for over a minute. So maybe they're going to look to do that once again and maybe nullify their attack on the first point. My but... Yeah. Maizo still I going like for that Reinhardt. Well, that we saw last position, game. man. Still good. Maizo's performed solidly. Like, he was one of our players we wanted to watch at the start of the game. See how he performs on a Rhine instead of a Winston, and he's been holding up to that. Some big Earth Shatters, done a lot of blocking. Probably going to get a card after this game for the most damage blocked. Beaver Riders surprisingly going for a triple tank here. Bomale, nope, he will switch to Farah. All right. <laughs> Uh, with the success he had on that hero Probably in the last game, I was, I, yeah, I was very, I was dubious. I, I, I really didn't understand where they were going with that, but Bomale still goes for crap. We just saw on the spectator. Will it get anyone? Only two players on the cart right now. That payload is moving slowly but surely. Ginyora will try to... Miso dropped. That was a bit early. Is he going to live through that? He gets grenaded. Defense on oh, his side. Oh, the beautiful. Double pool. Oh, Ginyoru actually got the worst end of that, getting destroyed by the Zenyatta. Could still find Con Man, though. He's actually going in the favor of Concordia right now. Picked off both DPS and the tank. 30 seconds remaining on the clock. Can they pull it off here? Wogo trying to disrupt Concordia in their defense. We'll go upstairs. Try to oh, find a my better son. target. Snipes him with their fire strike. That card is being protected. Concordia very good on the fence so far. They planted their feet. Here we go. Overtime starting now. Nano boost is going to be ready pretty soon on the side of Concordia. Can we see them maybe put it onto Miso and slap some people off this point? And from what we've seen so far, Beaver we'll Riders down. have been a bit seesaw with their offense. Can they win this fight Bumale and continue moving forward? Bumale is down, and that big is a shatter on big both target. Sides. Jam case still survives. Look them at all this up. beautiful play from Conman. The Run rest. will find Ginioru, and that ultimate from Jam KZ might be the end of Beaver Riders. Indeed, it is no fourth point for Beaver Riders. Concordia Esports will try to go just a bit further than Beaver Riders in this round. That could be the end for this map. But what a tight match so far. I really am looking forward to how Beaver Riders reacts in that defense because, man, Concordia have been all about those JMKZ picks. JMKZ has been playing phenomenally this series, as well as still Miso hanging in there with the Rhine. Bigger shatter, big block. He countered the charge, and they knocked both of them out, and Ginyoru got the worst end of that. So hopefully look to do this. So far, Beaver Riders have picked an Orisa which is good. It's a lot of suppressive fire. Are they like going to stick with it? Orisa pick. 
But as you said, looks like they might as well being very um, proactive on his Reinhardt. Moving forward when the time is right. Now, that was a bit early, as you said, yeah. going down on that fight. But still... The team was there to support him, to keep him alive. He got the bubble. He got the biotic name, the heal. Got everything he needed from his team to keep him alive and in that fight. And it, it worked out in the end. Good synergy on the side of Concordia. Can Beaver Riders mirror that? Bomela is going for the Soldier 76. Run is going to be hunting those supports and those DPS players right now. With that know game. it. That backline is never safe, especially considering Wogo doesn't have the best response to the Genji pick here. JMKMZ going to be on the fair this time instead of the Soldier. Oh, Ooh, immediately went down. Wow. He got outplayed by the shift. Making <laughs> me lie, Wogo. What a beautiful pick right there on run. All the better for him, but he will be back in the fight it's very so soon. So close to where he needs to be, and they got three minutes to pepper them with fire rockets right now. GMKZ. Gonna need some healing. He's proven he can use those rockets proficiently in the oh, first this round. Oh, Zarya is so charged. Already at 100%. That is going to hurt. Daisy Fan using the defense matrix there. That's not going to defend him too long. Con Man still, <laughs> still harassing them so hard. Con Man is not being answered right now. And that is going to hurt Beaver Riders in the end. A lot of ultimate built up for Pink oh, Panda. Oh, that's a good pick. Absolutely. Stealth is going to be out of this fight for a little longer. But again, that spawn point is res. so close to the target. It doesn't actually matter all that much. Conman still doing real work here. Concordia is really waiting on their ults right now to try and get a big wipe this fight. Conman's trying to stack up his grab, run same thing, and the Transcendence is almost ready. So it's be one big explosive fight that we're going to end up in. Not a single pick so far inside of Concordia, but it doesn't matter as much as you might think. Two minutes and 30 seconds left. They still have a lot of time, and it is oh. very close. Oh, Wogo in danger, and Good finally Bomale wins that duel against Jankizi in the air. He goes down, but gets resurrected immediately by Bing. Uh, rocket by Barrage Bing almost ready. Grab almost ready as well. Are we going to see a Rocket Barrage into a grab right now? No, it. Daisy Fan wastes no time Jan in chasing down Jankizi. So he is going to fall. Here's the grab. Bomala with the ultimate. Look Run at that Dragon Blade! Everybody. Absolutely insane. Run is absolutely tearing Beaver Riders apart. And Concordia goes the Deals distance, finishes that game 4-3. to three. That is one map on their side, but man, did they have to fight for it. As we said, this game was going to be close. Brought it up to expectations. We're probably going to see Run's Nano Blade from the last fight, and we will. Genji Blade. That's a bit of a gift for us because we didn't get to see that live. But look <laughs> at this. everybody. Absolutely fantastic. In the same sequence, five kills on the side of Run. And this is what we're talking what about. We're waiting I mean, for. You pointed out a lot of players, and Run was being overlooked when we talked about Concordia. We talked a lot about JMKC. We talked a lot about Stealth. I'm we sorry, discussed Mizo quite a bit. But Run, man. So what's been interesting about Run is He's traditionally a DPS player. He came to Concordia as a soldier player, a Genji player, actually from PS4. He was a 4K PS4 player. But since then, for this team specifically, he's been playing more tank styles. So coming into this match, I thought we're going to see Run on the Zarya, on the D.Va. But he's shown up on the on the Genji. I mean, what about Con Man 2 on Zarya? That charge the entire time. It was absolutely insane. Getting Zarya to 100 charge in that amount of time is almost impossible. He made it happen, was a force for his team moving forward into that last point. It's a good reaction pick. When you see the Orisa and the Junkrat, you're just going to get free damage from every. They're literally giving you damage, and they're like, here, take it all. Yeah. Take all our damage and give it back to us. Very proactive now, Concordia. Modifying their composition, Conman did not have Zarya locked down, and now... They understood they might want to go for the Orisa because obviously you want to do that. A lot of suppressive fire, as you pointed out, and a lot of staying power, a lot of health. We on saw it screen. actually hold that point for a long time. The yes. shield kept coming up, couldn't get pushed through. Then finally, we waited for all those ultimates. 
and then everyone was dead. Not a long timer on that ability for sure. 900 defensive shield <laughs> is not a lot. It doesn't seem like a lot, but man, if they keep coming, you keep shooting at it, but you can't Definitely answer. Definitely with a grab and fully charge Zarya. It's going to be a, a bad day. Very good on Concordia for staying... Uh, patient for yes. really understanding that what they needed here was an ultimate fight because they had the upper the upper hand in, on that front because you have an Orisa on the other side. Even if Orisa eventually builds the ultimate, it doesn't have as much of an impact at was, uh, uh, as what Conman can offer with Zarya or as what Maizo can offer with that Reinhardt. If you don't get the ultimates going for the side of Beaver Riders in that fight, they have no way of defending themselves completely. And we saw it was a very good patience. They waited, they knew their, their win condition, and it stuck to it. So hopefully they can carry that into Li Zhang now. So Absolutely. It's going to be mean, a bit different, though, Li Zhang. I do understand that Beaver Riders like maps like Li Zhang Tower, the control maps, because of the aggressive side of Daisy Absolutely. Fan. He's really a factor in those kinds of maps because he is everywhere and he does last forever, has the defense matrix, has the health of a tank, can really chase down targets even in the air, really finds every single target. The priority on the, the, the prioritization on that man is his best uh, his best ability. And I think going into that fight the main point of action for Beaver Riders will be, do we understand now who is the priority pick? Yeah. Who do we have to pick first? Is it Maizo because he is the pillar of the team defensively? Is it Stealth because he's been stellar on both Zenyatta and every other character he's been playing so far? And his aim, man, that aim. Big damage coming out of Stealth. It's actually probably one of the DPS players that game, so Zenyatta dealing a ton of damage to the front lines. Or is it run? He's using Zen uh, Zarya so far, but if he goes back on Genji on a control map like this, it could spell doom for Beaver Riders. Beaver Riders on the red side. Concordia Esports. No, I'm sorry. This has <laughs> been reversed. Okay. So Beaver Riders on the blue side. Concordia Esports on the red side. Composition changed a lot for the side of Beaver Riders. They are going for a Roadhog on Daisy Fan. That's not something I've seen too often. Interesting adjustment. Still a bit squishy. Let's put it that way. The Reaper is a good adjustment pick to take down my soda, right? Absolutely. But I'm still worried about the squishy part, especially with Con Man on the loose on Junkrat with that weird rugby skin thingy. Well, well, well. Zarya already has a bunch of charge. Look at those players go. The first engagement has started. Concordia has the positioning advantage. They gained control of the center of this map very quickly. They are being contested, oh. though. Wow. Wogo goes for Pink Panda and JMKZ immediately. His next target, his stealth, and he is going down. No way to escape. Beaver Riders get that point fairly easily. Concordia Esports will have to think of a solution to that Reaper pick. Yep, and the Reaper pick really was the key of that fight. It melted down the Rhine, it melted down the support so quickly that it didn't have a chance to react to it in time. But at the same time, we saw, oh, Con Man oh, got two picks right there. GMKZ was another. Is this going to be the site? Wogo trying to get something so low. But going to survive, but Concordia is going to cap that point. Now, 26% on the side of Beaver Riders. That will be negated very fast by Concordia if they can keep this up. Con Man going for the trap. Doesn't get anything off of it. He does have the ultimate, though. If he can find a good spot to stay and use that, could turn the tide of the next fight very quickly. Bree will use the ultimate on our side. Concordia trying to pin them in the spawn as we saw the last game with Sailor Scouts and Rival. Just keep the enemy team away from that point. But somebody's backdooring the point right now. And the grab will help somebody's stall holding that it. team. Ginioru, Daisy Fan, and Wogo all get picks, and Run is the only one who can retaliate against Beaumale. Storm Kusei will even get Con Man. That point is not yet on Beaver Riders, but just as I say, this 30% and going for 
the Riders. What we saw there, somebody backdoored onto the point. Actually disrupted Concordia's offense. Did they want to fight? Did they not? And they ended up getting grabbed and pulled completely away from the point. But four ultimates up. We're going to see another explosive fight coming up. I was wondering if Mizo was keeping Reinhardt simply because of the Back. ultimate charge. Let's see how he does right now. Bomele gets two targets locked down, and Mizo might have to change here. Even though he has the ultimate, I do not believe he's been very successful with that Reinhardt in those fights. Man, Concordia is being squashed by Beaver Riders right now, and it does not look very good. That composition needs to change, in my opinion. Maybe you have a differing opinion. You know those better uh, those uh, players better than I do. Shield is gone. Shield is gone immediately. That's what the Roadhog and uh, Reaper really want to do this fight. Transcendence going to open up this fight if they can get Wogo down. Wogo is in danger. He will fall immediately after that Transcendence. Jamkazy and Stealth get kills on that offense Two push. kills. Inyoru Here gets comes the a tire. Oh, and the Earth Shatter, no. beautiful. Comment doesn't he? The Earth Shatter doesn't even matter. Comment had those two down before it hit them or after. Didn't even matter. If he knew that was coming, he might have well wanted to hold it. But they got the kills. That still was a lot of alt expelled, but they got the point over, which was their goal. Especially on 92%, you really want to flip that to avoid any possibility of them getting to 99. Going on 60% right now for Concordia. They need to defend this for long, or at least longer than they have before. Gonna get that trap. Doesn't want to get locked down oh. immediately. Oh, but this could be big. Oh, it gets still killed. snipes him. Look at that. That aim and that grab could be the end of that oh, fight immediately. No. Daisy Fan goes for stealth and run and Mizo. That is a nice swipe on the side of Daisy Fan. We were talking about him, about his aggressive play style, and I do believe that Roadhog fits that bill very well. Gets four kills in that sequence. That might be play of the game. If nothing else, they do get that point. And this, this one's probably going to go to distance. We <laughs> might see a game three. Concordia can turn this back around. This point, much more favorable to Farah, as we know. Jankizi pulling it off on the Farah last game. Reaper a bit less, since you can't really get those surprise sneaky Beyblades, but still. They have had success in their composition, and I don't think they're willing to change too much. Bomele will still have 76, and that will be very good to counter JMKZ's Farah. Pink Panda going for Mercy, getting that pharmacy in the air will be integral. Uh, integral. Ah. integral. Yeah, so I'm sorry about fun. that one. <laughs> a bit of a tongue slip right there. Stealth. We're going to mirror sides. Inyoru wants to take control of that center. The point is being contested Daisy right now. Misses still the hook, but gets Conman in the process. Now, Ginyoru. A lot of charge on that man. He's being harassed a tiny bit, but his health is not going down. Run is going to lose his mech. As this fight continues, a bit hectic right now. Winston will not like that Wogo. <laughs> Do not approach that man. Pumpkin Sight's still head still at dangerous. 0%. People are ulting already. Oh, well, well. <laughs> Riox is out of the fight. No more healing on the side of Beaver oh Riders. Oh my lord. Wow, that Beyblade on the... Oh, beautiful. That mech gone, and Stealth is also a victim of that. So many ults being win. used after each of them. Every Still at 0%. happening at the same time, and no one has the point. Concordia is finally capping it. Wow. Spray for good measure. His point. Run manages to keep his ultimate during that whole fight. Look at that man. The one man who kept his ult. Yes. Con man on his side with the Doomfist. Oh, oh that God. is cheeky. Can he get anything? Oh. No, sadly. Landed right behind the rock. If that was right behind it, probably could have gotten one or two people. Bumene gets a pick. Can we see anything more from him? We'll go sneaky sneaky. Wow, going on the back line. He wants that monkey. Winston is in danger. 
Conman getting rezzed. Run losing his mech. Will it survive? <laughs> Wogo getting picked by Conman. That is very good. He gets oh, resurrected right immediately. The meteor strike. What is going on? This keeps happening. Daisy Fan needs a pick right now. He wants something. He has Bree in his sights. Manages to get away. She's not dead yet. Pink Panda does fall, though. Run still holding it. Lucio still holding it. Oh my goodness. Beautiful well, hook. he finally goes down stealth. And Conman. That's a dead. lot of time gained, though, on the side of Concordia. Yep. That was a good 20% during that entire altercation, so... They're a bit staggered right now, but they could come back. I do like those projectiles flying in everybody's faces. Now, two ultimates on the side of Beaver Riders means that they could have an edge on Concordia in that next fight. They will try to find something. Mizo working on his ultimate. Damn KZ. That's a good pick. That's their res. Enter the fight. Gonna try to find Daisy Fan, but he gets picked by Bomale. Beautiful grenade on his side. Mizo gets Ginioru. Wogo also falls on the side of Beaver Riders. Con man fists him to death. Absolutely fantastic. You know he wanted that high noon to protect oh, himself. No. Wow. Concordia is all over the place, and Con man is on fire. Well deserved. As Pink Panda only has her ultimate for the side of Concordia, but still, that means nothing. Beaver Riders have had a bit of trouble last time getting to that point. Doomfist going in, gets another one, gets Bree immediately. He does have his ultimate. He needs to find a way out. He doesn't have the time, though. That High Noon will get him. Pink Panda resurrects Maizo, needs Hello, the team. defense. The Con Man is back into this fight, and Johnny. nice rocket. JMKZ kills Bomale. Defends his territory. Well done. Single target kill on Wogo's ultimate. Not exactly the prime target either. Con Man will find two as JMKZ still Diva runs around. For time. Diva still still on point. Not gonna last. Rocket Barrage is up. Will he use it? Still contesting. Interesting. Bomale trying to find his way back on that point. Defend his honor. Lucio He's doing dead. all he can to stall it as much as possible, but... Well, well, well! Concordia Esports may find themselves in an advantageous position right now as they are on match point yep. for that next round of Lee Jung Tower. I'd like to see if Beaver Rider still sticks with the Reaper. It has been working well. It looks like they switched off to Soldier, which is good. I do appreciate that change. Concord is still gonna stick with the Pharah. Interesting. It's a really <laughs> weird do you robot. Do you appreciate that change because you think it's in Concordia's favor? I Maybe. see Reinhardt on the side of Concordia, and that might be difficult to deal with if you don't have the Reaper. Yeah, that shield's gonna stay up for so long. You're gonna only have really McCree and Soldier to rinse that with the Roadhog, but you really want your Roadhog to be getting picks right now. This fight is happening very quickly. Daisy Fan using the defense matrix, trying to protect Bree and Wogo in the back line. Run will, in return, deal a bit of damage to the mech. Not enough to take him down. Daisy Fan will keep his offense going. Jam KZ in the air and try to pick Mercy Hunt. Yes. Can oh, he get the that's Lucio? a prime target. Storm QC. Want. He's back still, to full health. still alive. Doing a really good job, though, harassing as Concordia picked up that first point. That's 13% already. That ultimate is charged. And so is Mizo's. This could be oh. so important. Misses practically every mobility. target. At least they did get Bomale. Indeed, that McCree is out of the fight. What we saw there, only one ult used. So they still have three alts. Pink Panda's res is coming back up. Conman's grab is almost up. And on the other side, you have the, the res, uh, the Valkyrie, as well as the tag visor and the sound barrier right now. Everything build, being built up for Beaver Riders, but they need to answer fast for the percent. Oh, is the hook getting the canceled. On the side of yes, indeed. That was the tag visor. Good start for Beaver Riders. They have two picks. Jenkins Resurrected immediately. Pink Panda wastes no time. Are we going to see a Genji Blade? No, this point is going to go over right now. So he did get the point. Kind of sneaky there. That fight 
was elongated enough for Beaver Riders to capture. Oh, pick here could be very bad, but gonna make it out. Nice movement for Ginioru. Goes out of that fight unscathed, and he is still harassing Concordia, backing up into their spawn. They will finally get a bit of breathing room. That bubble protecting Dragon the right targets. Ready. Oh, gets picked, and oh. Run is dead. Offense quashed. JMKZ and Run are both out of this. Maiso going in. Can he get anyone? Not nope. a lot of... The dragon becomes you right on their back line. Is he going to get anyone? Gets the first pick. Gets the second one. Is he going to get any more? He gets slapped to death by D.Va. Unfortunate. Well, that mattered quite a bit. They kind of changed situations. Reversed it quite well. Bomale will find that target after missing two shots. He probably would have paid the price heavily. The tanks are still holding on to this one. High Noon coming out, not going to get anyone, but they're there. his team is there to help him out. Effective priority target building for the side of Beaver Riders. They don't have any ultimates left, but neither does Concordia, and 75% is a lot. That timer is ticking. Concordia needs something fast. They have no alts at the ready besides the Grav coming up very shortly, as Gravia Hazaria tells us. Can they defend with Guinea and Wogo? Both have their alts right about Here now. Here we go with the whole hog. He's very low though. Can he find a target before he goes down? Yes, Absolutely. Run. Jank, is he getting two picks? The Ooh, oh, got things alive. alive with that ultimate. Yes, he finds a way to escape. And Gineoru. now Concordia has captured that point. Ginioru needs to find, to fall back, sorry. Ooh, that pick on Con Man. He's going to oh. bubble himself, and they are retaliating. You don't go on our boy like that. No way. Four alls up. Concordia side. Are we going to see a big explosive fight to end this game? Probably. Again, we will. Four ultimates on the side of Concordia. They could defend for a very long time. Only Beaumalet is working on his right now. Attack Visor going out. The defense Matrix very well used by Daisy Fan. He's going to get dropped, though. Mech is out. Falling back now. Jam Keys, he doesn't want to die. That Dragon Blade, very efficient. Can he pick up Blade? Yes, he can. Beaumalet will try to find a target with that high noon. Oh, no. Boom! Overtime. Oh, fantastic. Jam Keys, he counters him so well, so fast. Storm QC falling to that 76. That fight is over, and Concordia runs away with this one. 2 to 0 will be the score. They are moving on against Windstorm Gaming. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with this result. That's uh, pretty good. Uh, <laughs> man, of course, of course, Daisy fans. Oh Five my God. man streak. Whoops. Oh my lord, so much damage. It's a four man actually, sorry about that, but still just as impressive. Jinkies eat 17,000 damage. That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of <laughs> That's damage. That's a big number. <laughs> that is ticking, going up the ladder. And uh, I, I, I kind of, a little bit favorite, but we did get good games. Guys, you got to give it to the man. He's been rooting for that team <laughs> forever. He is one of the men responsible for Concordia Esports. And today, it's his day. I'm, I'm gonna very happy. You did good. You guys did good. I'm proud of you guys. You guys did good. Well, 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 Concordia gets that one in the bag. Windstorm Gaming is their next opponent. But first of all, props to Beaver Riders. A they did stellar really well. season. Really well played so far. I mean, if they're coming back next season, we will welcome them Absolutely. with open arms. Sincerely, how about those Daisy fan plays? <laughs> I, look, every single player on that team, including Bree. Bree is honestly one of my favorite players this season. Finds the right spots to be the perfect support for her team. But Daisy fan, what an aggressive tank. <laughs> those Roadhog Whole hogs were so destructive, they held back everyone, wiped everyone in fights. But in the end, we saw the compositions maybe not match up as they wanted to, and 
We got treated to a nice series, though. There Absolutely. is a reason why Daisy Fan got the play of the game, but after all, Concordia did get the win, and if I had to give player of the game, it, on my end, would definitely be JMKZ. We talked about it. So much damage being dealt over the course of two maps, but sincerely, what great positioning with that Farah always found the right spots. Last season, we had kind of a meme going about every <laughs> single Farah being oh kind of a budget Rudy. True. But we've discovered so many fantastic Farah players this season, and Jam KZ is certainly Rudy one of them. Rudy not here anymore spreads his magic onto the other Farahs. Exactly. He kind of disappeared, but still left a mark on the league. I do appreciate Mizo's play on Reinhardt. Did good. That's kind of my character when I do end up playing because, yes, guys, I do play this game sometimes. But sincerely, what a good tank player. Was. Really acted as the wall that Concordia needed to win that last map. Fantastic play and from also all we players. We saw multiple people playing Zarya on Concordia's side. We talked about it earlier. We, Zarya was a pick for three or four people on that team, and they pulled it out magnificently. Run, did phenomenally. All that Fortnite training paid off in Overwatch, apparently. So... Keep playing Fortnite, Danny. Man, that versatility that Concordia has, every single player can flex in any kind of position they want, and that kind of made them win tonight because, as you said, that Zarya pick on multiple players, it's not just showing how much versatility every player has. It also makes everyone around here understand that Concordia is not just versatile, they are intelligent. They understand we need a Zarya, but we cannot sacrifice other picks. We will pick Zarya. We will have somebody that is proficient on the character. Can we make our team work outside of that? And every single time they were asked to do that, they did. I really have nothing to say. Stellar play from Concordia. Really good play on the side of Beaver Riders 2. Sadly, they will be eliminated. Windstorm Gaming will be the next opponent. And before we go, I want to know, because, I mean, you are our special guest of the night, Concordia Esports, uh, Mr. Concordia Esports. <laughs> I want to know. Yes. What do you think about that matchup? Can they make it happen? I want them to. I think they can. If they do, it will be... A very drawn out series, maybe a slog or not. Very long drawn out fighty series, but I really hope they can. And I do appreciate those long series. Even though this game was only two maps, this very it much felt, felt like a tight <laughs> game. I really am looking forward to that match. I'm looking forward for uh, to every single match that we have in the next week. The two matches we will see are between Windstorm Gaming and Concordia Esports and Rivals versus Mirage. Now, both of those games are very, pretty very amazing. good games. We have some Overwatch coming your way next week, but don't forget, guys, before we go, if you want to watch the Grizzlies tryout, it is this weekend at the Mega Convention. We will be hosting this tournament. I will be participating in the casting booth in French, Ooh. en français, s'il vous plaît. So mais oui, mais oui. if you want to tune in for that, Susu will be there. All your favorite Ooh. casters will be there. My man, Susu, not here tonight, replaced by sorry, the ever so job. <laughs> Concordia commentator. Sorry. <laughs> uh, don't, don't be sorry. I, we'll bring him back. I appreciated every I single you, bit of the match. Man, I am so loving this Concordia play. I want to play Overwatch now. That game made me exactly. want to play Overwatch again. So I might All right. go feed. We're going to repeat it at the Mega Convention this weekend. Tune in to Montreal Esports, MTL Esports on Twitch. We will hold the tryout tournament between Rivals and Rocket, two of the best teams we have on this side of the continent. To everyone who is interested in some beautiful Overwatch play and you want to watch some finals Absolutely. before finals, well, Sunday it is. We will start the stream at 2 p.m. Don't miss it. In the meantime, this has been a pleasure for me. Thank you very Thank you much, so much for, for being here me. tonight. If you have any closing words, my friend, it, the floor is yours. Thank you, everyone who supported us tonight, all the fans who came out. There's probably a lot of you in the chats. There's going to be a lot of gifts of me after this game, so I'm a bit afraid of going back onto my Discord. But 
<laughs> I'll trust you guys will behave. Thank you so much, though. I am waiting for those. Oh my! God. I am going to. <laughs> the shirt use one those. is going to be awful. <laughs> <laughs> no. I am loving this. Well, I do hope you come back from time to time. If not, always, man. If you can, I have loved this to the end, and we will see. All of you guys in the chat next week for more Montreal Overwatch playoff action. I have been the movie bear. Dimitri or Dimi or whatever other name I have. Whatever other name you have. Are you hiding things from us, Dimi? Superman, maybe. Well, you saw the shirt rip up. You told <laughs> me my telephone booth was over there. It's over there. Really. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go change. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week. Have a great one. Bye-bye.